Hello, I'm George Ray and I'm from Shepherd University. And my presentation is on text summarization using the relationship structure of a document. In this investigation, the concept of a document's relationship structure is used for automating summaries for documents. In this presentation, a new automated approach to summarize knowledge in documents will be explained and we'll also consider how to validate the correctness of an artificial intelligence algorithm. <clears throat> so here's the agenda. Uh, first, a background is provided to justify the approach I'm taking. Um, this will be through a review of the long train of scholars who explored the na nature of language and its use in defining the boundaries of human knowledge. It'll look at a document as a creative project in which the author organizes his discussion around certain relationship words. And after we've developed a text summarizer or any AI software, we need to validate it, which requires a different approach with AI than with traditional software systems. <clears throat> <clears throat> So artificial intelligence is the replication of human analytical ability. And one of the major domains in AI is natural language processing or NLP. Um, NLP enables intelligent systems to both understand and generate human language. NLP has applied rule-based methods, statistical methods, machine learning and deep learning to perform its tasks that we see here. The seminal work for uh, text summarization using modern computers was by Hans Peter Loon, who was a researcher at IBM. In a 1958 article in the IBM journal, Loon described and justified an algorithm to facilitate quick and accurate identification of the topic in published papers. <clears throat> so Ramon Lull was a 13th century theologian and philosopher who developed a machine to make deductions that he believed would produce knowledge. Lull's contribution was in relating different concepts by use of a thinking machine. One of his followers was Gottfried Leibniz, and Leibniz followed up on Lull's work with an alphabet for human thought and a syntax for combinations. The statistician Carl Pearson in his work, The Grammar of Science argued that the obscurities in modern science are the result of an anemic orthology where orthology means the accurate use of language. Ogden uh, was a prominent linguist in the early 20th century, and he took up this orthology challenge and developed a panopticon algorithm to generate orthologically correct sentences. Ogden's panopticon is a derivative of Lull's wheels of combination. But while Lull used his device to make syllogisms, Ogden looked to make unambiguous sentences. Krovitz called Ogden's panopticon a heuropticon because it generates concrete examples of an abstract concept to aid in discovery. And this is a heuristic approach. Using his approach, one could combine concepts into meaningful sentences. The idea of recombining concepts as the basis for innovation and cultural advance was proposed by the anthropologist Homer Barnett. With recombination, the qualities of two objects that are similar but compared differently on some desirable performance trait are recombined. The weaker performer adapts the desired quality from the better performer. Wallace, who was a Canadian anthropologist gave an example of how this type of recombination was used in American submarine design during the Cold War. 
sharks with a shark shape are fast underwater, while submarines with a ship shape are slow underwater. So a new design might try submarines with a shark shape. Krovitz developed his own panopticon algorithm that he called the relational algorithm. He created a set of words from Ogden's sets of words that he termed relationship words. The idea is that a statement can contain a relationship between one concept and another if they're connected by one of these relationship words. In the 1971 proceedings from the Conference on Artificial Intelligence, Freeman and Newell considered this approach from an artificial intelligence perspective. They included recombination to include not only new features to be added and existing features to be removed, but also what existing features should be increased or decreased. <clears throat> A document is a creative work that interconnects concepts in order to develop and present the ideas posed by the author. A line of thought for the past 700 years has explored different systems that connect concepts to create new ideas or reasoning that leads to new discovery. We can look for such structures in a document in an automated manner as a method of natural language processing. Extractive text summarizers work by selecting what they consider to be the most representative sentences in the document and use them as the summary. The approach to text summarization here is to rank the sentences based on their relationship interlocking their employment of the basic relationship words to associate concepts to develop the author's argument. The goal for such a summarization is to provide key concepts of a document in a few sentences. <clears throat> Another type of summarization is abstract summarization, and that composes a summary rather than selecting representative sentences. A principal advantage of abstract summarization is the cohesion of the paraphrased summary rather than the disjointed nature of extractive summaries. Generally, extractive summaries perform better than abstractive summaries, and abstractive summarizers need fewer resources and provide greater accuracy. The summarizer developed in my research is an extractive summarizer. <clears throat> so, software systems started in areas that had well-defined formal notations, such as the mathematics of engineering calculation or the mathematics of accounting systems. Software systems are now being applied to newer areas where the problems are not as well-defined. The domains are highly dynamic and there may be no clear, correct, or incorrect results. Many AI systems will change behavior when new information is ingested, including during tests. Furthermore, in many cases, AI systems are trained on data rather than being based on a formal specification that defines the required operation of the system. Traditional verification and validation assumes that the outcome is known in advance. This is difficult with dynamic systems such as artificial intelligence that can change during testing. Moreover, for artificial intelligence, the modular design representations of the system often include black boxes, and it's not intuitively obvious what processing is done in those black boxes and how they relate to the domain problem being addressed. Validation is difficult in AI. Um, who is to say that one particular summary is correct, as even different people will produce different summaries? For text summarization algorithms, an automated tool for evaluating them that addresses these issues is available. 
Rouge is a tool that calculates the recall, precision, and F measure of a generated summary compared to a reference summary. Recall is the proportion of words in the reference summary that are also in the candidate summary. And precision is the proportion of words in the candidate summary that are also in the reference summary. And then F measure is a composite of the recall and precision factors. So the summaries from a standard text summarizer that's already published in R and a summarizer based on the relationship word structure of the document will both be compared to several reference summaries by using Rouge. The set of Rouge performance metrics for the two will then be analyzed to determine if there is a significant difference between them in terms of their F measure. If they have similar Rouge scores so that there's no statistical difference in the Rouge scores, then the proposed relationship word summarizer is considered to be validated. LexRankR is a standard text summarizer that's available in the R language. The relationship word summarizer was developed by me to extract summaries based on the number of relationship words in a summary. An article about smoking in Appalachia was selected as the document to be summarized. The prepared article text was submitted to seven online summarization servers services and also manually summarized by myself. <clears throat> Each of these summaries became a reference summary used by Rouge to compare with the summary generated by Lex Rankar, as well as the summary generated by the relationship word summarizer. If Lex Rankar scored significantly higher than the relationship word summarizer, then we would reject the null hypothesis that the relationship word summarizer has comparable performance to an existent, widely used summarizer. Although the t-test is often used to determine the differences between such groups of scores, the t-test assumes that the distributions are symmetric. I could not find a study to confirm this assumption, so a kolmogorov smirnov or KS test was used to determine if the two sets of scores were different. Experts on the Rouge test recommend using the F measure score to determine the similarity between the summaries. <clears throat> the results of generating the two candidate summaries, eight reference summaries, and calculating the Rouge scores, comparing each candidate summary against all eight reference summaries are shown in this table. Higher scores denote better performance. At first, the widely distributed rank R and the proposed relationship summarizer have similar performance across all three metrics. <clears throat> As noted before, the F measure score will be used for further analysis. A visual comparison of the F measures for Lex rank R and the relationship word summarizer is shown in this figure. The plot shows that the two summarizers appear to have similar performance with slight differences. The KS test on the F measures resulted in a D statistic of 0.5 with a P value of 0.2827. Since the P value is greater than 0.05, we cannot reject the null, which is that the two sets of F measures are similar enough to have come from the same population. So the results show that the KS test found no statistically significant performance difference between the Lex Rankar and the relationship word summarizer. So in this presentation, we've gone over the concept that relationship words re associate the concepts in a document together to form 
a line of reasoning. The proposition of this research is that one application area for such relationship word analysis is text summarization. A straightforward application program in the R programming language implemented this idea and was used to produce a test summary. An approach was also developed for evaluating the performance of the new text summarizer. It utilized the Rouge scores for the relationship summarizer against a manually prepared summary, as well as against seven summaries generated by online services. The result is that the two summaries, Lex Rank R and the uh, relationship word summarizers, perform similarly with no statistical difference in performance. <clears throat> The major contribution to the field of artificial intelligence by this study is that it takes an alternative approach to natural language processing, one based on the relationship structure of a document. Historically, such an approach has been applied in the area of linguistics and scientific inquiry, but it has not been implemented on modern computer systems. Although the approach in this study was applied to extractive summarization, analyses other than textual summarization can be automated, and I'll be investigating these in my future work. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> 